good YouTube, it's the Magic Gecko here, and today I have my sister here, and today we're going to be making the bath bomb. Bath yep. bomb. Today, today we're going to be making homemade bath bombs. So as you guys probably know, when you go to the store, you can get bath bombs, and they're usually pretty pricey. Um, and you can save a lot of money when you do them at home with ingredients you can buy from pretty much any store. Um, so today we're gonna be showing you exactly how to do that with a certain recipe. And the ingredients we're gonna be using for this bath bomb recipe is we have four ounces of citric acid, four ounces of Epsom salt, four ounces of cornstarch, um, eight ounces of baking soda. This is a mixture of water and coconut oil. We have some blue dye here and other dyes. And then we have all these essential oils. So let's get right into this. All right, Cammy. so are you ready? Yeah. Okay, so you're gonna be the mixing master. And the first thing we're gonna do is add our dry ingredients into this giant bowl here. So in goes the citric acid. There we go. Now here comes the Epsom salt. <laughs> yeah, I know. This is when that stuff gives in your mouth. <coughs> that, is just, that is not fun. Oh, it got in my mouth. Oh, <coughs> ew. And now our cornstarch. There we go. Cornstarch. Okay. I want my cornstarch out of there. Come on. Come on, Mr. Cornstarch. Let's go. Alrighty, so there that we've got all of our cornstarch out onto our eight ounces of baking soda. In goes the baking soda. That came out clean. All right, so mix that around, Cammy, and so there's no clumps in there. We don't want any clumps. And so now what we're gonna be doing is mixing up the wet ingredients. So, I'm gonna be using the straw to mix up the wet ingredients. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Don't mix that fast, Kimmy. All right, um, so we're gonna add two <laughs> teaspoons of lavender essential oil, cause moms love lavender. If I can even get this. Yeah, there we go. So, let us add and that's one teaspoon. That's two teaspoons. So pop that ugh, pop that cap back on. Ugh, all these essential um essential oil smell. Now we're gonna add five drops of blue. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. That's just about what we need to do. So, now what we need to do is very slowly, guys, this is the most important part, is to very, very slowly, gonna, we're gonna add this stuff to that because um, the citric acid and the baking soda are almost like when you used to do volcanoes in school um, with the vinegar and baking soda. The citric acid is almost like a substitute for the vinegar, but you mix baking soda and the citric acid together and they only react, all right, that's good, Cammy. They only react when they get wet. So we're gonna add this one teaspoon at a time. One teaspoon at a time. So mix that around, Cammy. Mix that around. Until that's all and mixed. And now we can add another little bit. Can we mix that around? Not so fast, Kimmy, not so fast. And then add another teaspoon. Mix that around. Add even another teaspoon. Mix that around. 
and another teaspoon bites the dust. And make sure there's no clumps in there, so mix pretty well to get those clumps out, because all that, um, it's clumping up. The um, stuff is clumping up. So add a little bit more. All right, mix really well, Cam. Another one, mix, and another one, and mix. And this is a very slow process, guys, but it has to be done. Um, now, to mold these, we're going to be using our hands to mold spheres, and we're also going to be um, putting these little Star Wars molds that are Darth Vader heads. I'm gonna use some painter's tape um, to make a, like a giant hockey puck type thing um, as a, for a bath bomb. And yeah, so mix, mix, mix. Can we keep on mixing? Just keep on mixing, 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 keep on mixing. Just keep on going, keep on whisking. There you go, let's whisk. I know this is probably really boring for you guys, but it's just part of the process. And if you did this in one big thing, this would fizz and overflow. And it wouldn't, it wouldn't fizz. It would fizz too early. It would fizz now and it wouldn't fizz when you wanted it to in the bath. So keep on going, Ken. Okay? Keep on going, keep on mixing. Okay. And we're almost done, guys. And I'm gonna take one more teaspoon maybe and then pour the rest in. And, all right, mix, 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 keep on going, keep on going. All right, go, mix, 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 mix. Mix, go, go, quick, 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 quick. Okay, cause you gotta get that in there ASAP, 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 ASAP. All right, all right, all right. You're probably tired right now. I'll take over for you. Just mix. All right, so it's supposed to be the consistency of about wet sand, and that's what it is right now. So, all right, that's pretty good. All right, so I think we're gonna mix just a little bit longer. And then keep on mix. Oh, ew, I got the mixture in my mouth because the vapor is coming up because it's such a fine mixture. And so right, while we're mixing this here, I'll explain that the Epsom salt, it seems like a little bit of an unneeded ingredient, but um, we need, we're gonna use it um, because, all right, that's a good consistency. We use it because, um, we use it because, um, we use it because it soothes um, in your bath. So we need to get these in there really, really quick because they're gonna dry. We gotta do it really quick. Really quick, really quick. Really quick, like really quick. Clump it up, Kim. Clump it up into a clump. Like that, then. Wait. Like that. That's gonna be a fail, but it'll still work. It'll fizz like we want it to. Looks that really don't matter as much. But um, now we go on to the hockey puck. So hockey puck, hockey puck. Oh, we need to get this. Good, 
I make big things. All right. The back balls, the spheres, didn't work out as we really wanted them to, but they'll work, they'll fizz. Um, but it didn't come out exactly as they were supposed to. But um, these ones came out pretty well, and I think this one did. So, yeah. Let's do that. My dad's helping us here, making some balls, because this isn't really working. <laughs> there we go, that's perfect. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. That's what we want, Kim. All right, so maybe this video wasn't as much as a fail as I thought it was gonna be. Alrighty. So really guys, that's all there is to it. That's homemade bath bombs. And um, later I'll show you how they work. So this is the Magic Gecko. Peace out.